Okay, uh, two and five now on the season. There is another injury. You ever just look around your room and say, what's the quickest way for me to harm myself? <laughs> Not making light of a serious topic, but this game hates me. Like, the one thing that I'm holding on to is the idea that this guy could win Offensive Rookie of the Year and be a stud tight end for us, and that maybe we're not screwed, and he dislocates his hip. <sighs> this might be our last season. This might be our last season. Uh, do ankle sliders. I turn down injuries. LOL. Um, the only thing that I do slider wise right now is just make sure that the uh, minimum speed threshold is set to zero. That way, fast players are actually fast and slower players are slow and aren't artificially catching up to the guy. You know, you said that last night, though. You know how many times I've said I think we're done in this challenge? A lot. It was Gary Boss was AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, that minimum speed threshold slider is the worst thing in football games. Whether it's this or the old NCAA games, it's always a problem. I do say that with every game, too. Oh, good, and the glitch is still there, so we lose that training spot. I just... At this point, we might as well just embrace it and see how painful can it get. We're the Cleveland Browns of 10 years ago in 2036. My goodness. The good thing is I can't draft Johnny Manziel because I'm not allowed to draft. Gotta send our picks away every year. <sighs> you mean like your Pirates franchise on MLB? Well, see, it's series like that that keep you going. The thought of, no, we'll get rewarded eventually. But about that, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Because that's how this goes. Let's auto upgrade these last few guys here. Oh, man. <sighs> Do ankle. The only thing that will be spoiled is the fact that it's a long damn series. That Pirates franchise—it's it's long. That's your spoiler. But is it long because of multiple championships? Is it long because it, we never won, or did we eventually won? Who's to say? If we win two straight games with sixty overall safeties, I'm gonna cry. Week eight, the Denver Broncos sunken cost fallacy. Basically, we friggin' won again. Three and five. Read it and weep. We're better by making us worse. By making us worse, we are better. The math does not add up. I don't understand. I don't understand. We say screw the veterans. Go with the kids who might be able to get breakouts. And I guess, I guess the kids are hungrier. All of my veterans are, are fat and happy because I've overpaid every single one of them to stay. Maybe that's it. Maybe their effort level is just not there anymore. Only upgrade points. Uh, we'll just auto upgrade everybody. Gibbons, what's up? How are you? Let's get to the bye week. How was my day? Pretty solid, to be honest. It was a good day. Sometimes less talented players try harder. That's the only that's the only logic that can be applied here. Other th I mean, well, yeah, because you can't apply logic to the Madden Simage. <laughs> you try to do that, it doesn't end up going well for you. Case in point. Someone broke their finger, I just saw, so that's that's fun. Holy upgrades again. Juan Stapleton did get another upgrade. Juan, you are 
You're my hope, buddy. Defensive rookie of the season. You're my hope. Can we beat Pittsburgh and get our fourth win of the year? We are undefeated since I took out three veteran starters and replaced them with guys in the 60 overall range. I'm not even going to pretend to try to understand anymore. We're just going to roll with it. We're going to enjoy it while it lasts. And then go play some basketball in a little bit. <laughs> it's the best record we've had in the season. Nine and eight. Nine and eight. Uh, previous years of doing this challenge, we've had success. This, this year in Madden 24, not so much. Not so much. At least our special teams happens to be top notch, but yeah, nine and eight's been our best record in this challenge. We peaked at a maximum of an 84 overall. We're back down to a 78. Still haven't had a breakout moment this season either. The Arizona Cardinals finally end our winning streak. We're at four and six. However, this division is tragic. We could realistically still make the playoffs. Despite being four and six through our first ten games. So, yeah, Tarth, right? No kidding. We can't afford to lose the division games, though. Denver, obviously a very, very good team. Our defense and offense keeps fluctuating between half decent and absolutely terrible. That doesn't help. Can we beat Denver? Is worth checking the injury report as well. Last week out for Crompton, Richard Simpson was also injured with a dislocated shoulder. There isn't a joint on this team that won't be dislocated. God damn it. Uh, what do we got for upgrade points here? Hello. Okay. A lot of upgrade points this week. Again, Mulatto. When there's that many. Save a little bit of time. So Denver, then Kansas City. These have got to be wins. If we lose both of these, that's GG's on the season. Uh, we do beat the Denver Broncos. <laughs> oh my God. Have I been recognized in public? Uh, a couple of times when I've gone down to Boston, yeah. Stupidly enough. Like when I've gone to like AEW events, but... Um, just because this crossover. Six and five Chiefs, five and six for everybody else. But, yeah. It does help, though. I live in the middle of goddamn nowhere. So, leave me the hell alone. <laughs> That's the benefit to living in the middle of nowhere. I need to be bothered by anybody. Leave me the hell alone. A three sack game for Matt Short, and for the second time this season. Gary Boss is the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Still, no breakout moment. I don't know why, why this game won't give me one more chance to get Gary Boss up to an X-Factor. How are you NFL than NBA? Austin, you want to try that again, buddy? <laughs> For my sake. Please, please try that opening sentence again. But it's good to see you, and I hope you're doing all right. But please retype that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what do we got? Uh, I'm not going to talk trash about the Chiefs because I know how that goes. Hi, hey, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing good. <laughs> Shout out to Sam Bam for the follow, by the way. I don't know if that came through, but thank you. Dude, you just had a stroke right I mean, I read it verbatim. It's what it says. All right. Crompton's back for training purposes. Um, do we have anybody else who's under the age of 26? Let's go with safety Sean Jackson. Get him in there. Why use word when less word do trick? You know? It's a fair point. <laughs> Thank you for saving my time and effort. I appreciate it, actually. 
I appreciate it. I, you were doing me a favor, and I wasn't appreciative of it at the time, but I've since learned. So thank you for that. You get chirp for your mediocre ability to build NHL dynasties. Uh, yes, once, actually. <laughs> How do I get my wife to ease up off my back about my girlfriend? Just lay down the law, man. Lay down the law. That's the way. Or have a threesome. That's also the way. It can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> it can't possibly go wrong. See, you're in the winning position. Either she gets with the program, or you already have a girlfriend. You just avoid being single. There you go. Anyway, rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Um, can we beat Kansas City? That is the question. Can we beat Kansas City? Okay, we did beat Kansas City. Hello, base star. <laughs> uh, we are currently in a three-team tie for this division title. At six and six. Two wins in a row as well. All right. The New York Jets. The New York Jets. Did I make fun of the Jets too much after Monday Night Football? We'll find out. Aaron Rodgers, 58 years old or whatever in this timeline, is going to come back and ruin our lives. Week 14. Who's the injury, by the way? <sighs> there goes one of our X-Factor corners. Aaron Rodgers with horse, <laughs> with horse tendons in his ankle. <laughs> All I can imagine <laughs> is Aaron Rodgers... <laughs> Under center, <laughs> and the running back spooks him, so he kicks. <laughs> like fucking Terry Funk getting kicked by the horse. <laughs> oh, God. That is, oh, that is the greatest, greatest visual. Holy hell. Is the Terry Funk horse kick? Oh, it is, too. For those who haven't seen it, who knows? They might get in DCMA trouble with this or whatever the hell. Uh, in WCW in 2000, uh, Terry Funk and a wrestler, Chris Candido, had a match at Terry Funk's ranch. Oh, they cut off the clip. Bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, Terry Funk horse kick. <laughs> it's an autofill. <laughs> I might get, yeah, I might get in trouble for this. I don't give a shit. Um, okay, where the hell's the kick? Where the hell's the kick? It's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Oh, the most replayed. That makes sense. So he hits Candido with a pile driver. And Candido's leg hits the horse. <laughs> the fucking horse kicks Terry Funk in the arm. Thank God it didn't hit him in the head. Oh, God. God, so now that's all I can imagine is Aaron Rodgers under center. Kicking the running back. Holy shit, that's amazing. I'm fucking crying. Whew. Oh, God. God bless Terry Funk. God bless him. Whew. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get horse kicked by Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, we got some upgrade points for uh, winning that last game. That's beautiful. A lot of these shat defenders getting plenty of points. That helped out the defense quite a bit. Uh, Mills, we started off the season like 0-3, 0-4. We're now up to 6-6. Six and six. Probably about to lose to the Jets because I spoke positively for a second. We beat the Jets. And with four games to go, your Salt Lake City Lumberjacks are leading the division on tiebreaker. 
this is the time where the game gets my hopes up and then ruins my life again. Get ready for it. It's coming. Get ready for it. We've been waiting, what, 13 years to make the playoffs? Scott Carroll, a three-sack game. Way to go, Scott. Even in your advanced age. Even though I didn't even... I took you out as the starter. I'm leaving it. Whatever the hell this team looks like, it's staying that way for now. It is absolutely staying that way. 23rd ranked defense, 26th ranked offense. <laughs> and apparently... We're just the absolute worst. Good to know. <sighs> oh, yeah, basis. We are uh, very, very far into this. It normally doesn't take this long to finally get a playoff team. Wow, Juan Stapleton has almost hit a 70 already. This dude was sub-60 overall. He's going to freaking win Defensive Rookie of the Year, man. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Four games left. We have a new ability for offensive lineman Juan Bost. Uh, who gets fool me once. Which is actually a very, very good ability. So, there you go, Mr. Bost. Not bad. That little red flash every time. The 3-10. and ten. Tampa Bay Bucks. You already know where this one's going. Just freaking get it tattooed right there because we're about to lose this one. We actually won. Uh, so did Kansas City. Have I seen Ghost Live? I have. Uh, 2019. Fall of 2019. Uh, they had a show in Maine a little bit more recently. Matt wasn't able to go to that one, unfortunately, because it was on a fucking Tuesday. Like, why is this show on a fucking Tuesday? <laughs> um... We're eight and six, man. Let's keep it going. I refuse to get my hopes up. I refuse. They're, this team is going to blow it. We have been waiting 13 years for the playoffs, and they're about to make it 14. There is no freaking fracking way after all of this time. Now is when they're finally going to make it. Mm -mm. Matt Short was a 93. He's down to an 85. This isn't going to happen. Not a chance. Not a hope in hell. Nine and five. New Orleans is going to beat us. We beat New Orleans. The Chiefs are also nine and six. Houston. And then Kansas City, and it really does come down to that Kansas City game. Wow. I just refuse to believe. I refuse to believe that this is actually going to happen. As long as our win streak. If nothing else, it'll give us our second running season, right? Oh, man. Uh, we have won. We're the fourth best team in the NFL. We've won five games in a row. This is... Um one of the most ridiculous seasons I think I've ever seen. For just how turbulent it's been. Yet here we are. Two weeks away, perhaps, from our first ever playoff appearance. And I need to know the status of the yearly awards. Tim's top ten for coach of the year. Which is beautiful. AFC, offensive player of the year. Nobody there. Matt Short is second in voting for Defensive Player of the Year, but what about the rookies? <sighs> ah, the lost game certainly didn't help. Cameron Crompton's not going to win it, but what about the linebacker? Well, we're not winning a Rookie of the Year award. 
I can't change anything about the depth chart to try and improve their chances either. Whatever the depth chart is just has to be what it is. I can't risk messing things up now that we are this red hot. Wish I didn't accidentally hit the wrong button in terms of the player upgrades. Yeah, the linebacker and tight end to both improve. But again, the tight end missing five weeks due to injury did not help him. Week 17 against Houston. We have already tied our record for most wins in a season. Can we hit 10 wins for the first time? Yes, we can. Have we clinched? Twenty thirty six. <laughs> they finally made the playoffs. Oh, I can die. I can die in peace now. I can. We could end it after this season, and at least we'll say we made the playoffs once. <laughs> at least we can say that we made the playoffs once. <sighs> Thank God. <sighs> we frickin' did it. <sighs> There's only one way to properly celebrate. There can be only one way. We have been waiting for this song for a long time. It's not as loud as I want it to be through the YouTube side of things, unfortunately. I might get DMC8 for this on the YouTube side of things too, but we'll see. Utah! People working together! <laughs> Blessed from heaven above. It's the land that we love. This is the place. Utah. I need to add it. I need to see if I still have the file to just have it on my uh, OBS. Can't even hear it. Let, turn up your volume and listen. That's the way to do it. It's not my fault. YouTube sucks. Do I still have Utah? I'm looking for it right now. Hold on. Hold on. Just a bunch of children singing. Do I not have the Utah song anymore? Come on. I have to have this. If not, we'll have to re-add it for the playoffs, won't we? We'll have to. Oh, so many. So many random clips. We're just leaving this in at this point, because I don't even care. We're just here. We're just enjoying the moment. We made the playoffs, damn it. That's what's important. We made the frickin' playoffs. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the view. This is the place. Well, it's true. YouTube can be a pain in the ass. People on YouTube know YouTube can be a pain in the ass. It's frickin' YouTube. Um, can I? Yeah, give me the expander. Uh-oh. Well, I decided to try to edit. Uh, <laughs> the audio volume. It didn't like that. It did not like that. Am I allowed to edit this? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah! Now you can hear it. Now you can fucking hear it. Utah! Utah! Pioneer spirit, baby! It is the land that we love. This is the place. 
Utah! 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 We have made the playoffs for the very first time. For all time's sake. <laughs> yeah, so that is um, that is the Utah State song, or at least it was at one point. It might not be the song anymore, but yeah, that was the uh, Utah State song once upon a time. Uh, we discovered that as a meme, and uh, that's why, for those who don't know, that's why we move to Utah every time. <laughs> for that song. Win or lose against Kansas City. We are playoff bound. Oh, for the very first time. As stupid as it is. Of all the times. Of all the seasons. For this team. To finally make the playoffs. Here we are. Yeah, A Greens, man. We went from 1 and 4 to 10 and 6. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> I always moved to Toronto. Just play uh, the good old hockey game. <laughs> if you move to Toronto, it'll be perfect. <sighs> How do you discover that? I don't remember. I think it was a Deej discovery. If I'm not mistaken. The Mormon magic in full effect. One game to go against Kansas City. This will decide the higher seed heading into the playoffs. Worst rated team in years, and it makes the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Made the defense worse. They started playing better. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap up the regular season with a win. The Lumberjacks have a home playoff game against the Vegas Raiders. As I think all four, all four teams in the division made the playoffs. <laughs> And we led the division. We made the playoffs for the very first time. Brings a tear to your eye. 